by chaos, by the void, and by the darkness. May the doors of oblivion be flung wide. Help me, please! Thank you very much. Hail, Chosen of the Queen. We have been expecting you. Queen Irene sent a missive detailing your arrival and orders. You are here to secure the staff of Magnus. Safe in our vault below the city. We have guarded it day and night. When you are ready, I shall show you into the vault. If you would follow me. As you can see, our artisans have built some small amount of civilization amidst this barbaric wilderness. Marbrook will soon be a jewel of the Dominion in this backward territory. As one would expect, we have encountered scattered protests, nonsense about protecting the trees. The local Bosma are disorganized and flighty. Such outbursts usually fizzle out of their own accord. Ah, the Mage's Guild. If you would follow me inside. Behold the Mage's Guild. The paint is still fresh. A marvelous addition to the city. I need a break. My prices can't be beat. Work remains, of course. But one does what one must on the fringes of the Dominion. The vault is below. Follow me. I know something about our specimens.
crimson nern root. We thought it was a Nord tall tale. Alchemists pay a dear price for this plant. It will be the jewel of the royal gardens. We've been trying to transplant this unusual variety of redwort plant into Somerset for some time. We found these in a Balenwood cave of all places. Valenwood soil is not surprisingly very fertile. These specimens are bound for the royal gardens. This room holds alien relics uncovered across Valenwood. Interesting, aren't they? Uh, we've removed any dormant traps that we know of, uh, so feel free to examine them more closely. I will answer any questions you have about them. This helm is actually from our own collection, but one of our Bosma allies stole it and then returned it in exchange for a song. The tree gifts. We're not actually sure what it does. Scholars believe this relic was broken into pieces when it fell from the heavens. They believe there may be others in Hectahaven, the legendary center of the Valenwood. Our ancestors have left traces of their civilization across Tamriel. If we follow Queen Irene, our empire will one day rival theirs. Behold, the Staff of Magnus. What happened? Where is it? By the shining trees of old Meris. We have been burgled, but how? I know not. We have guarded the vault day and night. I placed the staff myself. No, the vault is off limits to all, but wait. Vicery Pelador recently toured the vault. The Queen's business, or so he stated. The staff was present before his visit, but I did not check after he left. Unthinkable. Yet, what other conclusion can we draw? Such illusionary magic is beyond the ken of a common thief. To the surface, I must question the watch. None have entered the vault save you and the Vice Reef. I have confirmed it. He departed into the wilderness. He said he had orders from the Queen to bring Naaman's body. He did not return. He was always foolishly devoted to the Prince. I pray nothing has happened to the Prince's body too. The Staff of Magnus is an extremely powerful object. There's no telling what wickedness he could achieve if he desired it. Rest assured, he would not have accessed the vault if we'd had any suspicion of his loyalty. Someone must inform the Queen. 
chosen of Marbrook, your queen has arrived. Bear witness to the glory of Queen Irene, hope of the Dominion. Honor and praise, my friend. Do you have the Staff of Magnus? Peladil? Then it's true. He's betrayed us. My brother's body didn't make it to Marbrook either. I knew he loved Naaman dearly, but I didn't think he'd stoop to this. I will once again require your aid. These wood elves and their forest spirits. How claws are they strange? It is good to see a friendly face. Green Shade is a far more exciting place than Raz expected. He hears now that the Staff of Magnus has been stolen. As if these rebellious Bosma rebels were not trouble enough. Not yet, but it is possible. The elves in this part of the Valenwood do not follow King Camorin. They claim to be subjects of the Wilder King. Some forest spirit no one has ever seen. They mock the Dominion and call Queen Irene an enemy. We do not know. The Battle Reeves sent a soldier, Hazazi, to negotiate with the Bramble Breach clan, but he has made no progress. Now Raz needs to hunt for the Staff of Magnus, so he asks you, will you find Hazazi and sort this out? The Bramble Bridge village is just south of Marlborough. Hazazi is there. He likes to complain, but he's a good soldier. He just needs someone with a more sophisticated negotiation style. And by the time you get back, Raz will have a lead on the staff. This one does not understand Bosmer clan politics, but as Raz hears it, the clans of this part of Valenwood have always been wild. Some even sided against King Camorin in the Black Sap Rebellion. Greenshade is the heart of Valenwood. It is very dangerous and very mysterious, and these Bosmer understand it like no others do. Raz would not be deterred, but even Camorin's Vindusk Rangers avoid traveling in this part of the forest. The obvious answer is probably the right one, Paladil. That toad fulfilled Naemon's every wish. Why should that change just because the prince is dead? Raz knew the Veiled Heritance was a disease not so easily excised. <laughs> if Paladil has taken the staff, we need to find him and discover what he plans to do with it. The staff is powerful and dangerous. All of the Dominion is at risk if we cannot find it. As always, Raz serves the Queen. She wanted to know if the Bosmer here are as scary as they sound. With the Staff of Magnus stolen though, Raz must make that his priority. This one knows you can handle the Bramble Breach as well as he could. My sadness is unbearable. Diamond, red diamond, protect us till the end. When elves at last learn to man, Akatosh gave the stone a saint, a lashing token of her right to sit the throne. Red diamond, red diamond, the heart. Don't believe the rumors. Prince Naaman died protecting the Queen in the honor.
Behave yourself. No sudden moves now. Keep those weapons sheathed. Crazy Bosmer make no sense. Hazazi comes to negotiate on behalf of Queen Irene. To hear their grievances, and all they do is dance and jest. Hazazi has only been here a short while, and already he hates this village. What negotiations? These dungy elves don't want talk. They say they only answer to the Wilder King. Who is this? Who knows? 
They'd rather pull Hazazi's tail than give him a straight answer. It's not fair. Hazazi always gets the worst assignments. Hazazi likes this idea. If you can just get the Bramble Breach to make sense, this one will be impressed. Hazazi thinks it's a wild guard chase, but if you want to try, speak with their tree thane. May you have better luck than Hazazi. so many visitors in this part of the Valen Wood, didn't you hear? It's much safer behind the shiny new walls of Marbrook. Even King Camorin hesitates to venture into the court of the Wilder King. Negotiate? About what? Oh, I know. You want us to bow to your queen and swear allegiance to your what's-its-called, Aldermary Dominion. Huh. Problem is that our allegiance is to the Wilder King, and he doesn't seem to care for your dominion. Sure. Let me just pull him from my satchel. You people don't understand. The Wilder King manages the entire forest. Doesn't have time for idle talk. Why do you think so many people doubt his existence? Not in person, but I don't doubt the Wilder King exists. He speaks to me in the babbling brooks and the wind in the trees. Other Bosma petition him for an audience, but I don't need to. He already tells me everything I need to know. I could tell you, but how do I know you're trustworthy? You ask us to share your enemies, but will you share ours? The Wood Orcs are a plague we can't seem to be rid of. If you help us drive them off, I'll tell you what you want to know. Lurchers, take seeds from the shimmering tree in the village and plant them in the Orcs camp. In a few minutes, they'll sprout out with a vengeance. The Orc Chieftain won't surrender so easily though. Just kill him, leave the rest to the Lurchers. Don't bother coming back here until you've run off the orcs. I've got important business to attend to. <laughs> well, if you plant them in some peat, they sprout into a flower. And then after some time, the flower grows into a lurcher. If you want more than that, you can ask the Wilder King himself. When you get that audience. <laughs> They're gifts from the Wilder King. Embodiments of the raw energy of the forest. They protect the village. They're not so smart. We can't lead them against the orcs, but if they sprout straight into the orcs' camp, they'll know what to do. Was the tree thane as rude to you as she was to me? All I asked was how one might get an audience with the Wilder King. But the way she reacted, you would have thought I was trying to slaughter her children. Did she treat you any differently? She did? That's funny, because Ander and I offered to drive the orcs away and she turned us down. 
I don't know. I'm beginning to suspect this is some elaborate Bosma trick and the whole village is laughing at us when we're not looking. I didn't say that. There is definitely a distinctive magical force in this part of Valenwood, but I fail to understand by what logic the Tree Thane decides who gets an audience with the Wilder King and who gets turned away. Oh, I'm Aranias. Maybe you've read my book, Spriggins in the Green, Story and Myth in Primitive Bosma Society? Probably not, I guess. Anyhow, Ander and I came in a scholarly pursuit to see if this Wilder King is really as powerful as they say. We'll just have to venture deeper into the forest on our own. We'll probably get lost and suffer a slow and painful death, but that's the risk we have to take. If you're going after the Wood Orcs, though, I know something that might make it easier. If you want, you can take the essence from the Calope tree and rub it all over your body to cloak yourself in a haze of forest moths. The Wood Orcs won't even see you. Oh, one more thing. Ander scouted out the Orcs' camp pretty extensively. He might have some useful observations if you ask. Good luck with the Wood Orcs and that tricky tree thane. Maybe we'll meet again when we find the Wilder King. There seem to be a lot more rumors than any real facts. Some say he's a man. Others say he's a spirit, an embodiment of the forest. What I find most fascinating, though, is the rumor that he actually shapes the entire forest. That's just incredible. Me? I was born and raised in the Somerset Isles on a rather small island known as Silitar. It's a pretty secluded place. Growing up there was what first sparked my interest in studying nature magic. But, well, it was very lonely. <laughs> Of course not. He's mainly here, acting as my guardian. They warned us that this place was dangerous, and if the Wilder King is really as unpredictable as people say, well, never hurts to be prepared. Oh, one more thing. Ander scouted out the Orcs' camp pretty extensively. He might have some useful observations if you ask. Good luck with the Wood Orcs and that tricky tree thing. Maybe we'll meet again when we find the Wilder King. I spent several hours watching the Wood Orcs and evaluating their weaknesses. As a whole, their strength is in numbers. As long as you don't take on the entire camp, you should be fine. The chieftain's the one you have to watch out for. By the look of his scars, he's seen his share of battle. And he knows how to take a beating. Don't expect him to go down quickly. There's a shaman who's never far from his side as well. I'd focus on killing the shaman first. Good luck. <laughs> 